The question now is what happens to our RSS in the test case? So at first introducing some lambda over here um, and actually shifting away from the optimal W for this RSS um, improves our results for RSS test. So this is what we would get here. So this RSS test in the final case where the weights are optimal, um, where this all converges, decreases steadily uh, by increasing our lambda. But this doesn't last infinitely long because somewhere if we keep increasing this value over here, this, this uh, lambda hyperparameter, um, our optimization of our loss function will only consider optimizing this case over here because this gets so small in relation to this over here that um, optimizing our loss function means optimizing this regularization term. And this actually leads to something where the norm of our weights that we learn um, yeah, becomes zero. Because yeah, if you only would optimize this term, it would get optimal by just setting the weights to zero. Um, so at some point it doesn't work anymore. And if we choose, choose um, some lambda that is way too large, then this value here again will increase. So the final value will be something like this. And this is not optimal again. The final training curve would look like this. So um, let's consider the plot over here. If in this case we had this uh, t, this training time, but if we want to take our lambda over here, and we get our final RSS in the test case over here. Then we would see that by increasing our lambda at first, this is this down arrow that I drew here, we would get, would get improvements in our RSS test, but at some point it would worsen again and we get this kind of U shape over here. So in the end, it's not trivial to find our optimal lambda and we will have to do some tweaking and some hyperparameter optimization in order to choose the optimal hyperparameter that will prevent our overfitting and actually produce this optimal curve over here where our um, final RSS test um, result is optimal, that is minimal.